Good morning. I'm Wes Thompson, Constitution Party Chairman for the State of Pennsylvania. Uh, and this is April 26th, Saturday, 2008. As, we, as I speak, the uh, Constitution Party Convention is going on in Kansas City, where the Constitution Party will be choosing a presidential candidate, among other other uh, important uh, decisions that will be made uh, for the, on a national basis for the Constitution Party. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend, but many dedicated Constitution Party people are attending. People that have been there before, and either, even in other presidential uh, uh, years where they have the bigger conventions. Uh, it's very exciting because uh, we, could, we can give the people an option to the two-party system that has been in control of this country. Um, but there's been third parties involved for a long time trying to uh, become prominent and to make a difference. And unfortunately that difference uh, hasn't been felt greatly. But I'm sh I, I know it exerted some pressure uh, from time to time. And that is what we need to do. We need to uh, relentlessly pursue this and realize that this, these things don't, do not change overnight. Uh, but that if we pursue it uh, diligently uh, without fail that there will be a result that will favor uh, what we believe and, and to bring about a change in this country uh, hopefully reverting back to its constitutional roots is what we are about and I believe you would be will be too or if uh, you're a member of the Constitution Party so what we have in front of us here this coming election season is a challenge to Pennsylvanians that I'm giving to Pennsylvanians who want to see this change happen to get off the couch to start to do something to bring about this change. Uh, and that the, the, the task we have ahead of us right now is to gain 25,000 signatures by August 1st for whatever presidential candidate we choose and uh, the other offices that are open for uh, the election this fall, uh, both, both state and local. So these petitions are now, are now printed even though we have a stand-in stand-ins in these uh, positions right now until one, one is chosen to be nominated. And by the way, the rules of the parties are different according to uh, the Democrat and Republican rules are different than the third party rules. And, and it all is based upon, I believe, the prior elections and the percentages that people get, that these parties get in the prior elections. So uh, this is different than the last race that I remember being involved in the Constitution Party where there were 67,000 signatures, I believe, needed to be for the governor's race. Now this year there's 25,000 needed to be president or, uh, or actually for all of the, I guess for all of the statewide or national uh, positions. And I apologize for not being as well versed on this as others, but I'm learning as we go. Uh, but what I want to educate you on is the idea that these petitions that you've all have seen petitions before from all parties, people want you to sign their petitions. Well, this, this is our petition right now that I am distributing to people who are willing to make the effort to gain these signatures across the state of Pennsylvania. And if you need 25,000 signatures, you can just imagine what would 25 people do. It wouldn't, you know, it would take a lot of, a thousand signatures apiece, virtually impossible, unless you work night and day. We have to August 1st, but, but if you have 10,000 people, or if you have 5,000 people, big difference. Even if you have 1,000 people. You know, we, we, need, we need numbers of people doing this. And there's, there's spots, on, spots on these ballots for local positions if someone decides they want to run. I believe it would be too late for you to run as a Democrat or Republican, but not as a third party or not as a Constitution party. If there's a place to add your name on there. And uh, I believe there would have to be a review, make sure that you were acceptable to the party uh, to, to do that. But once you're on there, uh, that would allow you to be able to be on the ballot or whoever uh, in the fall, maybe for your local town council member. These are the things that would make this party grow, and uh, it has to, it, all, all political th events start local. And so, if people could run for local local positions as in, you know as a constitution party, because most people are very fed up with the third party, or the, I mean, with the two party system. And if you get talking to people, and, and if you just present them, if you happen, if you want to participate in this. What I find is I, I say to people, do you want to see someone else on the ballot besides the Democrat and Republican? Would you like to see other people, other choices you could give, make on the ballot? Most people would agree, yes. Well, the beauty of the Constitution Party, from what I see, is that you don't have to be a Constitution Party member to sign this. If, if that were the case, we probably, I don't know how many members we have, honestly, but uh, it would be very difficult to get those signatures. 
But as long as you're registered, Pennsylvania, I believe the number is around 12 million people in Pennsylvania. And I've heard different figures. I'm not sure of the facts exactly how many, how many registered voters there are. But I believe there's at least 8 million registered voters out of that 12 million. Democrat, Republican, Independent, might even be more than that. Any one of those people can sign this petition. Any one of them. As long as they're registered to vote in whatever party, even independent, that's basically, that's registered. So uh, that's what makes it easier to, to present these than uh, like a Democrat or Republican where you have to find people that are registered that way and then they, have, they tend to want to agree with the candidate. So uh, I would hope that even people maybe that are Democrat and Republican that would like to would like to see uh, other options and this would exert the third parties have always exerted pressure upon the two prominent parties uh, through you know whatever whatever uh, the amount of interest was shown there it basically sends a message to the other parties and says well these people could be part of our party which obviously I'm not part of that but I'm just saying that that's how the, that's how this is going to work uh, it always has worked so hopefully we can become a prominent party uh, across the country, not just in Pennsylvania. But this is going to require people to, to take action and to quit looking to others to take all the action. Uh, I'm doing what I can. Uh, I'd like to be in Kansas City. The problem for me being is taking off work and, and spending the, the, the money out to go out there to do this. It's expensive. Uh, I find that I, I'm, I, I don't mind spending the money that I can locally uh, on the basis like this uh, with this video and with uh, uh, educating people with things that I pass out and hand out to them and directing them to things and we all can do that to some degree uh, and it would make a huge difference uh, so but we de need people also to go to, to go to these events and, and to participate and to form the party uh, uh, platform so to speak or the, the other things that they decide out there uh, so uh, we need to grow all across the board but these signatures by August 1st are a must, that if, 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 if this party is to grow and if you really have interest in, in, in improving uh, the political scene uh, this con and you believe in the Constitution, then this is, this is the avenue that I, I ask you to take. And at this time I see so many, I talk to so many people that are disgruntled with the choices. They don't believe the choices are sufficient. They, they, they want another choice. Uh, one thing that was pointed out to me in the recent primary elections, when Ron Paul gained, I believe, 128,000 uh, uh, voters across Pennsylvania. Well, everyone was told that McCain is the is the is the candidate, but why would 128,000 Republicans go out and vote for somebody that they knew couldn't win? And I, you know, that that's that tells you a lot right there, a lot. So uh, hopefully that is. Uh, a sign of the times and, and that we can get people motivated to vote for the vote for people that you know the the mainstream media may tell you can't win but uh, uh, the people might be able to make the, the real choice and, and make it happen so I hope uh, that, that we can have a meeting to about these petitions in the next uh, coming weeks uh, we'll, we'll announce it on the website the Constitution Party PA website and if you contact us through the Constitution Party PA website, uh, we, we will mail these petitions to you if you can participate. Uh, so I hope you uh, intend to help us out and help yourself out, help your country out by participating in this process. And I'll look forward to addressing you again sometime and possibly meeting, meeting most of you in, uh, in person. Thank you for your time.